bug on me. I haven't done any video inside the bus. Um, and my wood pile tipped over with all the rain. We've had like three inches of rain in the last week. So I'm restacking that, but thought I'd just take five minutes here and shoot a quick inside video because people have asked. But um, we're still up on the blocks out here, of course, for the next year or so. Gotta get some tarps and stuff set up. Um, this is actually a project for tomorrow. So you can see the kink in this door. Uh, the bus sat with the door open and that's what all this water damage here is about. Um, but when it did and the bus sank into the ground, bottom of the door touched the ground before the bus was finished settling and loaded up the door pretty good. The hinge seems okay. The, the front side is straight. Um, so, I mean, this gap here looks pretty good. I think it's just the door's bent. So I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm not going to try to get it perfect. I'm going to take this piece of lou on off here that the previous owner put on. See if I can straighten that a little bit. I really just want to get it so that it'll close and latch um, kind of ish for the winter. But here we go. Ooh, squeaky. Number 668. And the uh, driver's station here. On first look, it's terrifying. But after some poking around, I think, you know, most of this stuff is in pretty nice shape. Um, I have no idea. I know that their gauge works. Um, I'd love it if I could get that original Speedo working, but I'm really going to try to maintain the integrity of this dash section. I'm going to add some gauges, and I'm not sure where that's going to end up being, but somewhere. Um, this, of course, is the original wiring, which um be going that through that completely. Just none of this will survive, so getting rid of all of that. I'm um, going to build a new loom for the bus. Um, the plywood underneath here, pretty rough. Um, the bus has leaked. Um, some, uh, majority of the corrosion damage, um, that I've, like, that is obvious is ar around, um, this window here at the bottom, rusty. Um, and then same deal over here. And I don't know if this is common, um, to the buffaloes. There's a a crack here uh, looks weldable um, but I'm definitely gonna have to fab up some sheet metal when it comes to this you see outside here uh, it's a little crusty and rusty in there all these window gaskets are pretty toast but you can kind of see what's going on there I see the ladybugs have moved in. That's probably going to be an issue. Um, so, we we took a few things out of the bus. Actually, the owner's son took a couple items out of the bus um, when we got it. But, uh, man, there's a lot of ladybugs in here. I'll do something about that. Um... But otherwise, everything that I show you when I turn around was in the box. So, here we go. This is how I got it. Found it. Slash got it. guy I bought it from actually did the conversion. Um, well, I bought it from his son. He, The actual owner was living in North Carolina, got it in New York. Um, this window here, 
took some sort of an impact and is broken, which really sucks. These um, gaskets are all shrunk. Also, not fun. I don't. I haven't started sourcing this stuff yet. I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping we can get it. Um, a lot of this stuff I haven't even opened. So, plenty of rodents and fun spiders and. This is just an as-is video. Just so you can kind of see what I saw. Some lovely mattresses. I think this is the original roof, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know if this is the original step configuration. I'm guessing no. Um, I definitely want to build this out, narrow up this area here um, so I can get a nice seat for my wife here in the front. Um, but going towards the back, uh, I'm guessing maybe this might have been a closet of some sort. Um, this is the kitchen area. fun stuff I have not looked through any of this stuff you are this is about as close as I've looked actually this old grandfather clock is in here it's actually not that old um, oh look at this got mashed potatoes in there basically he parked the bus and moved away um, but I mean the casework and stuff is actually it's pretty nice. This is all cherry it looks like um, But uh, Electric baseboard I'm guessing. Yep, that's electric baseboard was um, It would have been the restroom Regular old toilet flange in here a little sink and a shower Had a little the door here to the bedroom probably won't close. Back up a little bit so you can see it. But that door right there closes off the bedroom here. So I'm going towards the back. This would be the bedroom. It's the top of the transmission. Dug out the original tank. Um, and cut the floor out here so that we could get the top off of the transmission when we were trying to figure out what was seized. It turned out to be the blower, of course. Um, we also dug all of this. There was a bunch of Luan, and this was all built up as a bed. We dug all that off to get access to the access panel um, so that we could uh, get down in here. And, oops. Free up the rack and But more casework, lots of doors on the back here. I guess there's a window back there. I haven't got that far. So that's pretty much it. Got uh, plenty of rodents and spiders. But we're basically going to take this down to the down to the frame so we're gonna pull all the sheeting out pull all the floors out um, until we're looking down I guess into the compartments um, and pretty much start over um, but that's the inside of uh, my 4107 project she know 10 minute project but I'm excited about it so anyways for all the people that have been complaining that they haven't seen the inside there you go pretty fantastic love this watch step sign hope I can save that I assume it lit up at some point 
like to be able to line it up again. Uh, I don't know what else you'd need. But that's it. So we'll be doing a full set of videos in here as we demo the inside and, and uh, you know, get all this stuff out of here and see what we find. I just don't want any surprises. Um, posted about windshields the other day that none of, both windshields are not broken except for this one little mark here but this where the delamination and the cloudiness that's unfortunate i don't i don't think there's a fix to that um the other two bay doors are in the shop they're in pretty good shape they're definitely savable and um i guess we could do uh just a quick walk around the outside. I don't think I've done anything really since it's been parked here. Um, but the coach is pretty clean. We're gonna we're gonna tear all these access or all these panels out here. Um, get rid of all this plumbing and upgrade all this airline to new push lock style fittings, um, front to back. But at one point it was pretty functional. Uh, fresh water and gray, 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 water, gray water. He had in these 55 gallon drums. Um, you can see the plumbing for the bathroom up in there and um, battery boxes. But we'll be redoing all of that. Um, this panel here bent this excess door I think it's supposed to be pretty much lined up with that uh, the frame on the interior of this door is like a one inch square steel tube and it's pretty rusty so I'm probably gonna try to get that off of there once the motor is out and um, redo that frame broke these headlights pushing it back here with a tire on the front of my tractor I'm mad at myself about that um, and I also bent this little access bay door a little bit not bad it just kind of needs to be wrenched around and so I can go back in there he had a generator in this bay um, these doors both function they need new rubber hinges but other than that they operate as they're supposed to um, there's, this is the water damage along the front here. I don't know why that, that light off so it's not doing that. So I got this little chunk of structure needs to be redone. Um, everything else is untested. So, I'll get this little video uploaded and Wait for the blower video to come out. <laughs>